yours, as well as every Skywatcher's favorite celestial event. The total lunar eclipse is back this year with its first unfolding on the midnight of May 15 and 16, 2022. If you're into astrophotography, you are really going to like this one. Let's be honest, who doesn't want to witness and capture this magnificent sight of our moon? The total lunar eclipse of 2022 will last for a staggering 1 hour and 25 minutes. I would really suggest you to watch this video all the way to the end so that you do not miss out on this rare yet supremely incredible astronomical event. As a fellow space enthusiast, you're bound to have a lot of questions about the total lunar eclipse, such as when can I watch it? Is it going to be visible at my location? And most importantly, will everything be fine? So, without further ado, let's get started with the video. Hey, it seems like 90% of you are not subscribed yet. I would really appreciate if you join the channel for more such amazing videos. Back to the video. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth blocks some or all of the direct light from the Sun from reaching the Moon. This cosmic event occurs just once every 29 and a half days or the duration of one full lunar orbit around the Earth. Because the Earth and Moon have very predictable orbits, astronomers can very easily forecast eclipses. Why aren't there eclipses every month then? In regard to the Earth, the Moon's orbit is normally inclined a few degrees north or south. This causes the Moon to be slightly above or below the line of eclipse. So the three celestial bodies don't always align. However, when the Earth does eclipse the Moon, it generally casts two types of shadows, a wider shadow known as the penumbra, and a smaller, darker shadow known as the umbra. Typically, there are three types of lunar eclipses. The most breathtaking is a total lunar eclipse, which is going to take place this year on May 15. It takes place when the Sun, the full Moon, and Earth are perfectly aligned, and the Moon is under the umbral shadow of the Earth. Most people are taken aback by the view of this sight, due to the intense red color of the shadow. The Moon's typical black and white appearance is entirely lost during this period of time, when it is in the umbral shadows. As most of you might probably know, that this phase of totality is also famously called the Blood Moon. However, this type of eclipse is also much rarer, and the planning to observe it needs to be done well in advance. The second type of the eclipse is a bit more frequent. A partial lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth's shadow does not completely cover the Moon's disk. For this reason, the Earth's shadow appears very dark on the side of the Moon facing Earth. The third and the last type of lunar eclipse is the penumbral lunar eclipse. It happens when the Moon simply passes through the penumbral shadow. The occurrence is so mild that most people unfortunately miss it. Although the Moon is only a tiny little bit darker than usual. Okay, enough of talks. Let us now look at the places where this total lunar eclipse will be visible. The lunar eclipse will be visible in most parts of the world, including the whole territory of the United States and Canada, entire continent of South America, Africa, and some parts of Europe and Asia. The eclipse, however, will not be visible in many European and Middle East countries, India, China, Southeast Asia, and Australia. Here is an animation to help you visualize the path of the eclipse. As we can see, most of the eclipse will occur in the region of the Atlantic Ocean. Let us now look at the exact timings of this lunar eclipse in some major cities of the world. San Francisco Seattle Los Angeles Denver Austin, Oklahoma City, Chicago, Nashville, Ottawa, New York, Boston, Santiago, Brasilia, Rio de Janeiro, Madrid, London, Paris, Italy, Auckland, Dubai, Lahore, Mumbai, New Delhi, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Manila, Sydney. Lunar eclipses are also known to have predicted earthquakes. On February 9, 1971, a magnitude 6.7 earthquake struck the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains in Southern California. A total moon eclipse occurred 15 hours later. Many speculated that the alignment of the Sun, Earth, and Moon was to blame. It is thought that the Sun and Moon were dragging the Earth in opposite ways. As a result, instead of being a sphere, the Earth was squashed into the shape of a rugby ball. 
The earthquake may have been generated by the tidal and gravitational forces induced by this. However, any relation is highly inconclusive. What do you think? Are eclipses merely just some natural occurrences or do they have any meaning? Unlike a solar eclipse, it is totally safe to watch a lunar eclipse with naked eyes and poses no harm whatsoever. So bring your friends and family to your backyard to enjoy the wonderful astronomical event. By the way, did you know that as the moon moves further away from the Earth each year, one day, billions of years from now, the moon will be too far away to fall totally under the Earth's umbral shadow, making total solar eclipses impossible. Until then, we may enjoy watching the shadow of our planet cast on the greatest object in the night sky. Till then, I wish you all the best for your moon gazing and I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.